Today, you are visiting Sulphur Springs Park in the picturesque town of Soufriere. The ground on which you are standing feels strong and firm, but underneath is a scalding, seething world that is revealed only where there are geological faults or cracks in the Earth's surface. Sulphur Springs Park is such a fault. The hot waters, steam, and gases that escape to the surface here are evidence of powerful forces at work in the bowels of the Earth. Whether you have come here by sea or by road, it is impossible not to be captivated by the spectacular beauty of the mountains and valley. The tranquility of this place belies the fact that the forces that shaped it are still very much alive. At Sulphur Springs Park, you are in the middle of a dormant volcano. The island of St. Lucia, and indeed most of the islands of the Caribbean, were formed by episodic volcanic events that took place millions of years ago. Let us look at the globe on which we live. In the center, there is a solid core, then a liquid core called the mantle, and then a thin crust of tectonic plates. The continents and oceans sit on these plates, which move relative to each other. When the Atlantic plate pushed under the Caribbean plate, the islands of the Caribbean were formed. The frictional heat and temperature at the depths caused the rocks to melt and rise, forming first under sea volcanoes and then above sea volcanoes. The volcano here is named Soufriere, like the nearby town, the first capital of St. Lucia. Sometimes a volcano or volcanoes collapse after an eruption forming large depressions with steep sides called calderas. Sulphur Springs Park sits in a caldera that is 12 kilometers square. This caldera is between 32,000 and 39,000 years old, but its rocks are mere youngsters compared to the pitons for which Saint Lucia is famous. The Gros and Petit Piton were formed about 250,000 years ago. The pitons are molten rock or magma that did not erupt as a volcano, but instead pushed to the surface as a plug or dome and kept growing almost straight up. There are many lava domes in the area. Ask your tour guide to show you the Terre Blanche Decidic Dome, just to the east of the Sulphur Springs. Scientists and engineers have used the heat from the Earth's depths to produce electricity. Attempts have and are being made to tap into this enormous local energy source. Hot water and steam will be brought to the surface through a borehole many hundreds of meters deep. At the surface, a steam turbine will produce electricity. The excess colder liquids will then be injected into another borehole so as not to contaminate the surface environment. The natural beauty of Sulphur Springs Park must be preserved. The hot water, steam, and gases that you will see on your visit to the Sulphur Springs come up along a geological fault. At the bottom of this fault, six to eight hundred meters deep, lies a zone in which most of this water has been driven off by boiling. Below this, at two or more kilometers deep, is the old hot volcanic rock. The volcano has been dormant for over two hundred years. However, sometime in the future, the forces from below will again dramatically change St. Lucia. Fortunately, Earth scientists can monitor and predict with some warning any major imminent volcanic event. It is reassuring to know that these men and women keep a continuous watch for signs of increased local earthquake activity and any bulging or rising of the surface, while you enjoy the lush and unusual vistas in this unique park.